Hey, 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 it's Lisa Love with No Sweat Plus, and we are making butternut squash soup today, one of my favorites. You know, fall just makes me feel like soup, so I'm gonna show you exactly how we make it. So I've actually got two butternut squashes, and you know, they can be kind of rough to work with if you don't know how to work with them. Let me show you a pretty easy way. You wanna cut off the um, ends of both of them, and as you can see, I'm gonna save my ends for um, some stock and then you want to start cutting pieces about like this and I start from the smallest end and since we're roasting well we're going to put these in a crock pot uh, and some of them we will roast you want to take the skin off you don't really want to keep that except for stock for what we're doing you don't have to be cute about taking the skin off it's very hard to peel off I'm going to show you an example in a minute. Just left that little piece of skin on super hard to peel off. So I chop it off. You don't want to cut yourself. And voila. This just goes right in here. I'm making butternut squash soup so this does not have to be really cut up finely. Just wanted to show you how to cut this uh, butternut squash though. Okay, I am back. Let me show you where we are right now. So, this is how we're looking. Ooh, 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 ooh. doesn't that look good? See it? So, everything has cut down. I've got to find the bay leaf. I did use some sage in here, but I used dried sage, so I'm good with that. So I'm getting ready to do, there we go, there we go. The smash up, mash up now, okay? So this is butternut squash, chunked off, all right? I've got a few potatoes, red potatoes, and then um, also one sweet potato, garlic, cloves, whole cloves are down in here, and then I also did, um, some tomato, I'm sorry, not tomatoes, some onions, bell pepper, I had the reds, the yellows, and the greens, and then I put various seasonings down here. So what we're getting ready to do now is add a couple of things. We've taken it off that crock pot heat. This is vegan sour cream. So that's gonna give it a pop of flavor, and it's also, going to give it some creaminess, okay? It's vegan sour cream. If, this were, if, this, if you're making this and you're not making it vegan, you use regular sour cream. That was about a fourth cup. And depending on how creamy you want it, you can't put really too much, can't put too little. All right. I'm also going to add just some almond milk in here, okay? And honestly, it doesn't have to be almond milk. Uh, any plant-based milk if you're making it vegan. And then if you're making it non-vegan, Whatever kind of milk you want to use is fine. Again, depending on how creamy and rich you want it, it's adjustable. So now we're going to put this into, I'm going to use my Ninja. The Immersion Blender is kind of messy for me, okay? So I'm going to use my Ninja. I'm going to divide this up between probably three Ninja cups, okay? And you don't want to put too much in one cup because it's hot. Okay, we're gonna blend this last batch of soup um, on our Ninja, or you can use an immersion blender, and then we'll be finished. Okay, so that's it. You make it as smooth as you want to, okay? It's um, right there. Be careful when you're putting it in your containers or when you're using the immersion blender. And that is butternut squash soup. Doesn't that look good? Alright. Got a little sum up, of course. Oh gosh. Actually, 
actually toasted some butternut squash seeds here. I'll show you those. Real easy to do, 350 degrees, all right. Just a little bit of oil, grapeseed oil, olive oil, doesn't matter. Just gonna put a little bit of those on top. That is so good. They don't call it butternut for nothing. It's a buttery taste, buttery texture. I love the crunch of the seeds. It's fancy enough to have for company. You can freeze this. I like to freeze mine before I put the uh, milk in, but you can freeze it with the milk in it. It's delicious. And it's got a really good contrast between just that smooth soup and then the crunchy uh, butternut squash seeds. Okay, and you can just do the squeeze, the, uh, the seeds. You can just eat those too. They're really good. But fall is in the air. I want you to try this butternut squash soup recipe and tell me how you like it. Now, I'm also going to be doing some uh, just roasted butternut squash. I'm going to do a savory um, version and then I'm going to do um, a sweeter version, kind of sweet potato-ish, okay? So that is coming up. In the meantime, if you want more recipes, healthy recipes that support your hormone balance um, goals, then check us out, um, No Sweat Plus, on YouTube. And of course, you can find us right here uh, on Facebook and also on Instagram. We'll see you next time.